so we just wanted to show some of these new blending options that are uh, they're at the moment they're in the closed beta but they're going to be released soon the devs have uh, have announced them showed a little sneak peek on the discord so you find all the settings here just below what we had before combine uh, subtract and intersect add subtract intersect or combine carbon intersect is called here mother and it's just below that these are the settings uh, it's quite straightforward and we get a new blending mode here as well we only had smooth before so now we've chamfer so delighted to see that in um and one thing i did request is that this menu it's very awkward here in, in vr it's so long you have to put your hand down here um and then these um these sliders in vr you really have to steady your hand up but they're so sensitive you really have to take care so i was hoping for some sort of um a modifier key like in max maya blender where you can hold a modifier key to slow down sliders to get more dial it in more accurately so hope hope to see that in the future um so the first one here is inset and if anyone's used them um, blender uh, box core you can get an effect like this like this one and like this other one as well the i think the the groove one i think it's like an inset i'll show that in a minute but yeah so basically you just have these settings here you get an outer blend an inner blend and an outer blend and then you can switch over to the chamfer and it's a really nice effect delighted this was added and you can also obviously combine these for interesting results you know for shapes that might be a bit a bit harder to get otherwise just modeling them in and get them really easy with these and the next one is extrude chamfer and then you can add some depth here or you can add a double chamfer and then the same thing you know you can combine these for interesting effects and you can keep stacking them then on top of each other and then even you know combine the different ones and the next one is groove just reset this and this one here is like um just in the <clears throat> an inset you have an inset box so that's the depth and then the width so you get an inset i just think there's something similar to that in uh, box cutter as well <clears throat> maybe add a mirror onto that and why and yeah you get the idea there you can create whatever sort of designs by just combining this and the next one is tongue set the depth and if that exceeds the edge of the box there like if i drop this down you can see here it's sort of hollow so you can just um if it exceeds it then you can just pull it out and um, this will set the thickness and the same thing's happening again there so you can just pop, pop that out there and same again then as your different blend effects and combine them i don't know why i keep rotating that i don't really I don't have to i can just pull out from this side so yeah you can see <coughs> the potential you know how powerful these could be for 
and designing quite complex shapes by just mixing and matching between the different ones. And I think we have these two repel. These are uh, pretty much opposites of each other and they only have one setting here. We can blend internal and um, repel as in it's pushing away the surface here and then leaving an outline based on uh, the chamfer that you have or sorry the <coughs> the blending type that you have here so chamfer or smooth and then avoid is, is the opposite it's just it's putting the chamfer there on this upper end rather than the other one so that's pretty much it there um that's an old sitting there but i don't really use that yeah that's pretty much it but yeah nice feature coming and it's great to see the uh the live prims um get more work because it's uh the more i use it the more i'm in, really enjoying it when you use it in combination with the regular layers um it's brilliant modelers the only sdf or voxel or whatever you want to call it program that has both systems in one it has both of these systems so and um, it's brilliant with all the sculpting tools and warp and then with these live prims as well so yeah just thought i'd give that quick uh, sneak peek for what should be coming quite soon when it's really it's going to be in the next release i think the next uh, official release all right cheers thanks good luck